All right, so we're going to take a look at what happens when you Cerakote internals on an AR-15 and specifically the bolt carrier group uh, and the inside of your upper receiver. So I'll roll in some pictures, uh, get some close-ups of what everything looks like beforehand. I've shot this gun 100, uh, well, a little more than 100 rounds today for the first time, get everything broken in. Definitely uh, was a little bit stiff at first, but uh, Cerakoting your internals is definitely not a bad idea. And everything will be fine after break-in. It just may give you a little bit of trouble during break-in. So first up, let's take a look at the bolt here. So you can see right off the bat, you've got some surfaces where the Cerakote has already worn off. Right up there on the gas key. Right here and here. On the supports for the bolt. Up here other side of the gas key, uh, front and back of those supports there, and then the front and back of, well, more of the rear of this support section here. Here you can see where the hammer was riding. And then up here in the front you can see a lot of that uh, gold Cerakote is now like a nasty brown paste. And it's just kind of getting everywhere. Also a lot of this stuff is brown from the upper receiver. That Patriot Brown Cerakote. Let me see if I can get a look. So see right inside here we have this looks like a ridge. It's kind of folded over. Right there. That's actually brown, uh, Patriot Brown and gold Cerakote mixed up. And uh, kind of in a paste. So watch this. If I take my finger and run it along there, that ridge is gone. It's actually just built up Cerakote gunk uh, from everything wearing off. So there's going to be a lot of that in there. Uh, there's some spots where the Cerakote is definitely... Uh, already worn off right here where the cam pin rides. We have some wear there. We've got a lot of Cerakote gunk in the chamber here and that was actually giving me a little bit of a problem um, with chambering and then right here we have some some wear back there. So once you shoot about 50 rounds it's a good idea to go ahead uh, and break everything down, clean it up and then shoot it 50 more rounds, break it down. Uh, but really the idea is keep the gun clean of Cerakote dust and gunk between shootings until it's fully broken in. So it's going to take a while for all the spots that are going to wear to wear down. Um, mostly, you know, the, the guide rails up here on the bolt and then some spots here in the upper. So let me start wiping this down and then we can actually see, um, see how the Cerakote is wearing. All right, so you can see there's really not too much of the Cerakote that's actually worn back down to the metal. We have a spot here, here, and here. And then on the other side, up inside here, we have a little bit. I'm definitely going to need to do a good cleaning of the chamber here off camera. See all that Cerakote build up in there? There's a lot actually down there inside the chamber too. <clears throat> so what I did today was just pretty much set the gas system uh, on the gun. To look at the bolt and carrier. Let's take it apart. See how it looks inside. Curious to see how far all this uh, Cerakote gunk has gotten. So that's a pretty tight fit right there. I think it's really in everything. All right, so let's look at the bolt. Tail looks pretty normal. Don't see any Cerakote getting back there. Definitely up here in the front. Definitely lots of Cerakote junk. And I don't know, maybe this could be some baked on Cerakote junk too. Take a look at the bolt again. Start wiping it down, see how it looks underneath all this. All right, so there we go. Now we can get a better look with all the gunk out of the way. The spots that are actually wearing. So, pretty much all the spots I already went over in the first part of the video, but you can get a better idea of what's going on. So once everything breaks in, all the shiny spots are going to get shiny and stay that way. And then you don't have to worry so much about the Cerakote gunk after a while. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the full break-in period is going to be um, as far as when all the Cerakote is going to wear off. 
on the wear areas, but I'll definitely let you know uh, as I shoot this gun. I'm going to use this pistol to do some fun stuff like uh, long range accuracy testing of a seven and a half inch 223 barrel. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to try to get a lot of rounds through this thing and uh, we'll keep an eye on how the Cerakote is wearing on the internals here. So instead of doing a two-part video um, about shooting this gun a little bit more, I decided to go ahead and roll it all into one. So in the first part of the video, you saw the first 110 rounds out of this gun and uh, the wear that was going on inside and the Cerakote, you know, kind of coming off and uh, gumming things up. It was giving me a problem. And um, the problem that I was having, the gun wasn't fully going into battery and then it would get jammed up, a little uh, sticky in there. But so now I've got... Uh, 200 rounds through it shot it some more today after cleaning it and oiling it from the first part of the video so uh, Let's take it apart and take a look inside. I will tell you I did not have a single malfunction today After cleaning it out the first time and after everything was broken in but um, Just a side note the take a look at the Bear Creek Arsenal ejection damage we have from the shells here, so take a look there on the receiver you can see when the shells are coming out. I think uh, I need to take some slow motion video, but I'm pretty sure the case mouth is doing this damage here. And I'm not sure what's doing this damage. Something's chewing up the, uh, the handle right there. So I did have an issue with this handle working loose. And uh, I put Loctite on it. It seems a little bit loose still. So let's see. Let's see if it is. Yep, it is. So this is kind of a multi-part video. Look at the Bear Creek upper and all the all the Cerakoted stuff in here. So so in the lower. Just have the normal wear it looks like. There's definitely gold Cerakote on the hammer so we're still not fully broken in as far as the Cerakote wearing off where it needs to wear on our contact surfaces so we've still got some Cerakote right here on the edge let me uh, wipe it off here there we go so definitely not fully broken in yet and right there, no Cerakote on the bolt catch. Just a little bit of, a little bit of goo. Everything else looks really good inside there. Let's take a look at the upper and the bolt. With the Bear Creek Arsenal upper, you have to unthread this plug back here. Then you can get the bolt out. And I should have got it, gotten it started. Got it unlocked. There we go. Came out super slick. Okay. Let's get a better view of that. So front of the bolt, we've got uh, our typical brass on the bolt face. And yes, there is a ton of oil on this thing. Let's wipe it off and see if we can tell what is Cerakote and what is oil. So you can definitely tell what is the gunk and oil and what's the Cerakote. The Cerakote is obviously a lighter color. We've got a good bit coming off the back here still. We've got something coming out of there. Let's uh, check our guide rails here. A little bit there. That side's really dirty. Looks like we have a flake. Whole Cerakote flake.
here at the front, this just looks like brass. I don't think any of that is Cerakote. Uh, it functioned perfect today, but it looks like there's still a little bit more break-in, probably, that needs to happen. And uh, I guess when you know your, break, your Cerakote break-in is done is when you stop seeing it come off uh, as you clean the gun. So inside here, it looks pretty typical. Let's see. A um, little bit of Cerakote here and there, but a whole lot better than before. Before, it was terrible. So anyway, there's just a look. Uh, first 200 rounds through Cerakoted internals and an AR-15. Uh, at this point, I definitely think, you know, Cerakote is cool on outside of stuff. It definitely will give you a great look if you're going for a certain look. Um, but if you are wanting a coating for, you know, actual metal protection on internal parts, you're definitely better going with like MP3 coating or something like that. Uh, if you want a gun that looks cool like this one, Cerakote's awesome. Uh, it definitely does its job on the other parts, but just not, you know, the metal-to-metal -metal spots, like right here and here. Um, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. I'm going to keep shooting this thing, of course, and if anything else happens, I'll make another video on it. Thanks for watching.